Well, today we're doing a project in the uh, kitchen of my uh, travel trailer and also the same thing for my son's travel trailer. I'll show you a little later. But uh, what I'm up against here and probably a lot of people uh, in travel trailers is lack of counter space. And uh, we're going to try and alleviate that problem with this uh, little project. The kitchen in uh, my travel trailer is pretty typical of most RVs. We've got your dinette table here and uh, your sink and stove and when I move over here you can see when I'm in full uh, bore cooking mode I've got my stove here where I'll have my pots and pans and then uh, as far as additional space which is usually taken up with other uh, things like ingredients that I'm going to add I've got this tiny little space here it's almost two square feet of storage space and a little tiny useless uh, bit of countertop here but what I find is I'm, I'm just struggling to try and <laughs> put place things where uh, uh, that I need and because you can see I you know I usually end up with a spoon here and a knife a knife in this area or maybe a spatula and there's just no space there's this gigantic two uh, place sink and what we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves a cover for the sink you've seen them in most trailers if your trailer doesn't come with one then I'm going to show you how to make one and use some of this space if you've ever renovated a kitchen or been on a job site and seen one being renovated when they put the cabinet tops in they usually cut out the sink hole and that's what these are there's a uh, white brown several colors to choose from I got a few other colors I'm going to use but uh, that's all they are sink cutouts but the nice thing about the sink cutout is it's got a nice laminate finish on it and it's garbage they throw them out so talk to a contractor if he's doing a kitchen go to a kitchen store uh, where they sell cabinets and have installers and ask them if you can look in their rummage bin and uh, take the sink cut out which it normally goes in the garbage one of the better aspects of this project is that you're doing it for next to nothing. The sink cutouts cost me nothing. I spent a few dollars on uh, some edging and the rest was just uh, labor and a little bit of paint. Now I took one of those uh, sink cutouts and I measured my own sink to get the uh, size that I wanted to have as my plug or my countertop and I'm only using half of the sink I want, uh, or sorry, at one of the two sinks, I want one to be open all the time so that I can access it for water or to put dirty dishes in there. So what I did is I cut out my uh, sink top to measurement and this is the uh, laminate from the cutout that I got as a scrap. It's on there nicely. Then I finished the edges, as you can see here. I finished the edges with a vinyl iron-on edge trim. I rounded my corners at the front so that uh, it looks a little more professional than just a square cut. Well, there's my two rounded corners. The back I just left square. Doesn't make any difference back there. Now the vinyl edging you can buy at any building supply dealer. It, uh, it's just a, a vinyl flexible material with a, an adhesive that's activated by heat and you simply use I have a little travel iron that I use in my workshop for this purpose but most people have an iron kicking around the house and you just lay that on the edge and iron it on I roll mine with a little roller just to make sure it's on nice and tight let it cool and trim off the excess with a sharp knife now this worked very well and it cleans it up seals that edge and then also one other thing I did I've got this sealer on here which is the original arborite or laminate and I got my edge sealed and then what I did on the back side as well I painted it I got two coats of uh, latex varathane on this to seal this as well it's going to be in a moist environment so I want this to last for a period of time and also mine uh, as you'll see in a minute this is going to uh, be capable of covering both sinks by sliding so I also added you can see it here a bit of that vinyl edging all the way around so that when this slides and I'll demonstrate that in a moment 
it protects the paint, doesn't wear the paint off. So let's go to the sink and we'll show you how it works. Now here in this shot you can see that lip I was talking about providing a sort of a track for my new countertop to go into and it stores quite nicely in behind the uh, stove here when I need it. Just put it in place. It's controlled at the back by the taps and by the, this lip at the front and uh, now I can choose if I want to use either sink. If I have items on here I can simply move them to one side. It stays within this little indentation. I got a brand new sink and uh, clean and ready to go if this other sink is full. Now this may not seem like an awful lot of space but in a small area like this with very little storage it's considerable. In fact when you compare it with what I actually have over here this new counter that I've made is about three quarters of the space that I have over in this little corner here and it's much more convenient because it's where I'm working right here in the middle on the two sinks. We're in my uh, son and my daughter-in-law's trailer now and their sink is a total different uh, configuration from my double stainless so we can't provide them with a sliding sink cover but we're going to give them some uh, extra uh, countertop space anyway. Now the nice thing about the kids trailer is that uh, it actually did have a sink uh, plug that you could put in. It's nicely shaped and everything like this. Unfortunately my son who like my his dad does not like to read instructions and it says here right on the uh, this the sink plug here or sink cover it says sink cover and it gives you a part a part number and uh, the important thing to read here is sink cover uh, not a stove cover so that's why we're building another one for him so again from our salvaged uh, sink cutouts we selected the beige one for their trailer and done the same thing here with the edging all the way around and uh, painted and sealed on the back and uh, we didn't have to put the border around here uh, to protect it when it's sliding because this particular one won't slide. Okay, here goes. And that fits in nicely and I didn't put a finger hole because it's not needed. You can simply grab the edge to lift it clear if you need access to the sink. He's got his sink covered back again. Well there you have it, another tip from the Handyman's Haven. An inexpensive uh, project that gives you extra counter space in your trailer. Thanks for watching.